Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV on this beautiful sunny day here in Ottawa. It looks like spring coming around the corner and also at the end of this week we will be celebrating another Earth Day. That's right, Friday, April the 22nd is Earth Day. We're going to have some wonderful programming actually leading up to Earth Day and of course on Earth Day itself. And we wanted to give uh, an opportunity for the tech world to tell us a little bit about, you know, what's green friendly, what kind of sustainable products, what can help us in our homes and we are joined by tech tech expert Amber Mack to tell us more about uh, this topic and more. Thanks so much, Amber. It's wonderful to see you. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me. I think when we think uh, tech, Amber, you know, the first thing that comes to mind certainly isn't, you know, green friendly. You know, most people are thinking, you know, the amount of power and so forth that, that a lot of these tech things. But there are things that are available out there for people to, you know, make their homes more sustainable. And, you know, one of the biggest ones is probably the programmable uh, thermostat, Amber. Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, so first up, I wanted to share the Ecobee Smart Thermostat. This is a Canadian company, which is very cool. It also has voice control. And what's amazing about this is that it adapts to your routine over time to save you energy. In fact, it can help save you on average up to 26% of your heating and cooling costs every single year. Wow. So that's a significant amount. Um, has something called Eco Plus, so it will also use electricity when electricity is cleaner and cheaper. So there's a lot of intelligence built into this smart thermostat that can really help you protect the planet, but also save money. Uh, the next thing on the list, I think, I, I mean, I was certainly surprised when I thought when I saw it was. Uh television. So when I think of, you know, a television, I don't necessarily, you know, think of sustainability, but you've got a pretty interesting one here for us. Yeah. And, you know, many of the tech companies are doing a lot when it comes to sustainability. So behind me, you'll see the Samsung Neo QLED 8K TV, a gorgeous television. Wow. And what they've done is that they've built in sustainability throughout the whole process. So if we think about packaging as one example, uh, they're using 90 percent less ink on their boxes. So it is uh, easier to recycle. Um, so that's a really great feature. They're not using staples as well. So another great feature. And they also have this really cool cool uh, solar cell remote. And what's okay. amazing about this is that uh, it is uh, battery free. So the idea being that it will actually just charge on its own. And again, you don't have to worry about buying disposable batteries, wasting batteries. And so Samsung's done a lot in this space. And in fact, both the remote and the TV are made of recycled plastics. Very cool. I, I see, oh, I'm just looking at the screen here and seeing some of the products. You look like you have a very sleek looking printer in front of you there. Tell me about that product. Yeah, so this is the HP Envy Inspire. HP is another company that is doing a lot for Earth Day and beyond. Um, the HP toner cartridges are 100% made of recycled content, so that's super important. They also have something called HP Instant Ink. This is a subscription service that allows you to automatically get ink sent to your home when you're running low. So a couple things here, it uses less packaging but also it sends you these bags to your home so that you can recycle your cartridges and send them back to HP for free. So again, you see how some of these tech companies have kind of baked sustainability into the entire ownership process of these technology gadgets and devices. Well, let's talk about the use of energy because, you know, there's a lot of uh, power bars out there and, and, you know, you have one called, I, I think it's like a more of like an energy strip, I think you're calling it. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so this is the Eve Energy Strip, a, a totally new product to me. I just learned about this recently. Okay. And a few things I love about this is I didn't realize that there's something called phantom power. That means when your devices are on standby, like small appliances or any anything else plugged in, even a TV, that can actually uh, account for up to 10% of energy costs in the home. So what's great about this Eve Energy Strip is it allows you through the app to turn off things individually that are plugged in. So instead of having to turn the strip oh, on and off, wow. you can just turn off that device. And also through the app, you can see how much energy you're using and potentially wasting and actually create schedules for those specific devices plugged in. So again, it's that cost savings when we think about reducing that phantom energy. That is an amazing one because, you know, we have power bars all over the place and my wife is really, you know, one of those ones that turns them off every day. And then, you know, I forget that it's off and you go to turn on your television or something and you, you think something's wrong, right? You don't even think about it. That is an amazing product. I've never heard of anything like that before. 
Yeah, it's really cool. And I think you're exactly right, you know, when you think about all of the different things you may want to just leave on. Uh, but then all of a sudden you start to learn about some of those devices that are actually using a lot of energy when they are in that standby mode. I just love the fact that, you know, having that data at your fingertips allows all of us to figure out better ways in the home to save. Yeah, and setting the timer idea, I think, is, is magnificent. Well, you know, I mentioned, you know, nice weather is upon us. You know, spring is upon us. You, you, you said that, you know, in your area, it's starting to get a little bit warmer as well. A lot of people out on the go, and of course, they want to make sure that their, you know, their tablet and their phone is charged up. You've got something that uh, would certainly help with that. Yeah, absolutely. And my 13-year-old is always running out of uh, battery uh, on his phone. So I'm definitely going to give them him this for his backpack. It's from a company called Goal Zero. And what's amazing about this is we have this solar panel that will charge a battery pack from okay. Goal Zero. So it's this great little kit. And then in up to uh, three hours, you can actually fully charge the battery so that you can use this, whether you're out camping and you want maybe you want to charge a headlamp or even your phone. So basically, you're using the sun power to to uh, power up this panel that's taking that energy to the battery uh, pack that is totally portable. So all of a sudden, imagine, like you said, you're, you're out in the summertime and you're not near any time type of uh, outlet. You can just use the sun to be able to charge your devices, anything kind of small like that. So uh, just love this idea. Do you have all of this information on your website, by the way, Amber? I do. Actually, Excellent. we're featuring a blog post up on my site um, for Earth Day Tech. So all of these tips and tools and gadgets that can help you over at AmberMac.com. Terrific. Always a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much for joining us, Amber. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Take care. Don't go away. Coming up after the break, we'll introduce you to an author and illustrator who has partnered up with the Ottawa Public Library with something very unique. We'll be back with that right after this.